right, Algebra 1, Lesson 109. This is on advanced tri trinomial factoring. Now, let's write down the very first one. It says factor, and then it gives me this. Negative 7x minus 15 plus 2x squared. Now, my first encouragement to you would be to write it going x squared, then x, and then the number, okay? Um, in descending order. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to put the 2x squared first. Then we're going to put the 7x, which is a negative 7x, plus, and then the 15, which is a negative 15, or a minus 15. Okay? And now I put it in the correct order. Okay? Now, what we're doing, what we're used to working with is without a 2 right here. And so, therefore, we would go like this and go x, x, and then we would try to come up with two numbers to times and equal that, but to subtract or add to equal this. But now we are adding a two, okay, a number. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna say two x times one x, because two x multiplied times one x gives me two x squared, okay? So just showing you real quick. Now, let's go on and complete this. Now, um, Normally you'd go, okay, I'm going to go 5 times 3, that equals 15, but then 5 minus 3 equals 2, and then 5 plus 3 equals 8. Well, that doesn't work. Well, then we would try 15 times 1, which would give us 15 times 1 is 15, and then 15 minus 1 would be 14, or 15 plus 1 would be 16, but that doesn't work either because of this 2. So, I'm going to show you what to do from here. Okay, and I call this the inner and the outer method. Now, what I mean by that is, um, let's just pick two numbers that would equal 15. Um, let's do 5 and 3. Okay, so now I've got these two, 2 times 1, and I'm just going to leave those. All right, but now I've just chosen two numbers. Now, um, in order to figure this one out, what I'm going to do is call the outer and the inner. So I'm going to do the inner. So I'm going to take these two numbers, and this is just a method that you can use that makes it easier. So 5 times 1, x, makes 5x, right? So I'm going to do the inner. Now let's do the outer. 2 times 3, or 2x times 3, equals 6x. You see that? Okay, now, um, you need to ask yourself, using this method, um, can I subtract and get 5 plus 6 is 11, 5 minus 6 is 1, neither one of them equal a 7? Okay, so that didn't work. Okay, but we're st I still want to try 5 and 3, but this time I'm going to swap them. So, 5 here and 3 here. Let's see if that works, okay? Using the inner and the outer method, 3 times 1x is 3x. And 2x times 5 is 10x. Now, can I add 10 plus 3, get 13? That doesn't work. But 10 minus 3 equals 7. That means we're on to something. Okay. Now, in order to get a negative 7 to subtract these numbers, what would I need to get a negative? I would need my negative to be here. So negative 10x plus a 3 would give me a negative 7x. Okay, so these 3 and 5, exactly where they're at, are the numbers we're going to be using because it works. Negative 10 plus 3 is going to give me a negative 7. Okay, but now I need to decide how do I get this negative 10? So, um, what I'm going to do is I want you to see um, that I want to be able to put the negative with the outer because that's where this negative is. So I'm going to put a negative here because it's on the outer. This inner, I'm going to put a positive. Now let's check to see if that works. All right? So now this inner and outer method just helps to determine those two numbers and the inner part. But now we have to check it. Okay? 2x times 1x is 2x squared plus, and I'm going to make this a plus negative, 2x times negative 5 would make negative 10x plus, now let's do the 3 and the x, 
3 times 1x equals 3x plus 3 times negative 5 is negative 15. Did we get it right? 2x squared plus, yes we did, negative 10x plus a 3x makes a negative 7x plus my negative 15, which is good. So, we did it completely right. We got the same answer. Okay? So, this is the correct one. Okay? That's kind of how we figured that out. Okay? So, 2x plus 3, and then x or 1x minus 5 or plus a negative 5. It's final answer on that one. Now, let's practice a few, just so you can kind of get used to doing it yourself. Okay? So, here we go. Here's what it says. Factor 3x squared minus x minus 2. Now, I'm going to put a negative 1x, and I'm going to make these minuses plus negatives. I like working with plus negatives instead. Okay? So now, remember, you do your normal thing like that, and since it's 3x squared, it'll be 3x times 1x. Okay? Which would give us 3x squared. All right, now remember, we're using that inner and outer method, but let's come up with two numbers. So what times what would equal 2? Um, 2 times 1. Okay, now I may have to do 1 times 2. We'll just have to see. So let's do inner and outer to check to see how we're going to figure out if these are the right numbers. Um, 2 times 1x is 2x. And then the outer, 3 3x times 1 is 3x. Now... Can I take 3x and 2x and get a negative 1x? Yes. By putting a negative 3 would give me a negative 1x. All right? So since this 3 and this 1 are on the outside, then this is negative. It's going to go here, and this one will be positive. All right? So let's check in and see if we are right. Sorry about that. Okay, so now let's check to see if we're right. So 3x times 1x is 3x squared. And we'll make this plus negative. 3x times negative 1 is negative 3x plus 2 times um, 1x is 2x plus 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. And then when we add these two, this would be negative 1x. So we are exactly right. Yay! Okay? So we did it right. We picked the right numbers and even were able to figure that one out pretty quick. Okay? Now you might not always pick the right numbers immediately. All right, let's try this next one. 5x squared this is the last one. So I want you to try this on your own and see if you can come up with the right numbers. Okay, again, we'll make this plus negative, plus negative. All right, 5x times 1x. All right, this one's kind of going to be hard. We can either choose 6 and 1 or 2 and 3. I'm going to try 6 and 1, okay? And then we're going to do the inner and the outer method. 6x and then 5x, 5x. Can I add 6x plus 5x? Will that give me 13? No. Can I subtract that to get 13? No. All right, let's try this one. And this 6, and let's do the inner and the outer. 1 times 1 is 1x, 6 times 5 is 30x. Holy cow. So 30 minus 1 would give us 29. 30 plus 1 would give us 30. Still not close to 13. So 1 and 6 do not work. Okay. So let's try something else then. Um, what else equals 6? 2 and 3. All right. I could have put 3 and then 2, but we'll see if this one works. So 2 times 1x would be 2x. And 5x times 3 is 15x. Okay? Can I subtract 15 and 2 and get 13? Yes, I can. Good. We've chosen the right numbers in exactly the right spot. Okay, now we just have to decide if it's going to be a plus or a negative, or a plus or a minus here. All right. I want a negative 15 so that when I um, add 2x plus a negative 15x, I will get a negative 13x. So, since my negative is here, then it needs to be on the outer. So I need to use this one, or I could, I guess, make that one. But I'm going to want to use this one. And then we'll make this plus. And I hope that's going to give me the right answer. So let's check in and see. Okay? 5x times 1x is 5x squared. 
5, oh, let me make this plus negative. Um, 5x times negative 3 becomes negative 15x plus, now let's do this 2, 2 times 1x is 2x plus, and then let's do this 2 times negative 3 is negative 6. And then that does equal negative 13x plus negative 6 plus 5x squared. And it lines up perfectly. So that is how you do lesson 109.